Hi everyone. So I'm going to do an energy reading for the new moon that we have going on today, tonight. Okay, the sun. This is clarity. This is truth. And look at the pair there. They're dancing. There's something about... I'm hearing Dancing in the Moonlight, that song, Dancing in the... Dancing in the Moonlight. Yeah, Night of Wands. Something is igniting your passion, okay? But look again, there's two, okay? So I'm really drawn to the two here. So it's like... Okay, they're saying your shadow self. Okay, yeah, okay, so this makes sense because we're coming off of that full moon in Scorpio where we had like this deep dive purging. There was probably a lot of like, um, well, maybe not a lot, maybe you just had an, uh, a, an area of your life or two areas of your life or whatever that were heavily emphasized. Like something came up where you were just like, oh my God, you know what? I, I like really have to get my shit together here, you know? Or, um, there was just like a spotlight shown on an area of life where you could improve. You may have even been given steps to improve, okay? So now this is the new moon, okay? And the new moon is all about, for me anyway, a fresh start, a new beginning. The, the full moons are about clearing, breaking away, letting go. And the new moons are about embracing and beginnings, okay? So that that's what this feels like, okay? Um, yeah, I, I just started... Um, it, it's a, something about, like, not yet a man... I'm still a boy, not yet a man. I don't know. I feel like it's a song or something. All I heard was, not yet a man, like that. So, I don't know. But this is about, I'm also hearing the energy of Sagittarius. And, but this has something to do more with, astrologically okay like out in the sky and in, in, in association with the planets like wherever something is in Sagittarius okay three of cups yeah there's some sort of uh, celebration see here's three this one is in twos and then I'm also hearing this is about some sort of merger okay a coming together. See, and here's the moon. This is full speed ahead. Yeah, see, look, Queen of Wands, look at that. Yeah, and Eight of Wands. This is like your passion heavily ignited, okay? This is information. This is communication back and forth. This is someone, either you or someone that's approaching you is doing the work. They may be in the midst of doing the work on their shadow self, okay? So, because like, it's like as they were like on the dark side, you know, um, they couldn't face you, but see how this person is turned around now. Okay. He's still a knight, which isn't a king, but he's on his way. Knight of wands are known for excitement, this passion. It's like, Everybody notices them at the, at the party. Okay. This, this could even be this queen of wands, like just, just, yeah, like working it. Okay. But it's like, this person has been doing some sort of work on themselves and now they're able to stand and face you. Yeah. This person has uh, been grounding themselves. I, I do feel like their life, 
Yeah, look at them. Look back here. This See this light back here? Somebody, I don't know if it will show up in the camera, but anyway, his his little staff that he's standing here with, okay, it got struck with with um, some sort of information here, okay? And he could have even had like a moment where, you know, because along this spiritual journey, like the more that you awaken and just the more that you awaken, <laughs> some pretty wild things can happen, especially in dream state. Okay. And, um, or while you're sleeping, you know, I remember there was a period of time in my life, like a few years back, um, where I was like a little bit nervous about going to sleep because of like what was going to happen while I was sleeping, you know? Um, so I feel like whomever this person is approaching you, they may be somewhere along, they've probably been awakened for a while, but things like that, it's like the longer that you stay awake <clears throat> or the more that you acknowledge the things that are happening, okay? Because I feel like this person has is aware of what's happening, but something there, I'm hearing that somebody got spooked. Okay. And it, it's kind of, um, forced this person into an early surrender. Okay. Like maybe they hadn't planned on surrendering the way that they did. Okay. This could, this person could have even been like, they're showing me like the Knight of swords. Like this, this person could have been like very, you know, they would s tell you the truth, but they just said it in like the worst possible fucking way. Like anytime they told you the truth is like, yeah, thanks for like, you know, it was like, well, I didn't lie. I told you the truth. Yeah. But you know what? It's like the delivery just fucking sucked. Okay. And the, the, the delivery just like would like rip your heart out. Okay. So there's something about that. Like, I feel like this person just like fucking would let their words fly. All right. And something happened where something was revealed to this person and, uh, it, it made them like flip their script. Okay. Like, like they're like, okay, you got my attention. I still don't know that they're like fully aware of what their next steps need to be. This may be why they're coming to you. Yeah, Eight of Wands. I do feel like you're going to hear from this person if you haven't heard from them already. This person could be traveling towards you, but there's definite communication coming in. So, this person is looking at you now. Or you're looking at this Queen of Wands energy, okay? You're seeing someone... Queen of Wands is, is someone very beautiful, very just magnetic. She attracts, she, she just, she just draws what she wants in because of who she is. She doesn't even have to speak it. You know, it's just like, like everyone is in awe of her. Like no matter what your sexual orientation is, you can't help but be enamored. That's the word they gave me, enamored by this Queen of Wands. Yeah, see, Queen of Swords and the Moon Child. So the Queen of Swords. This is why this person was not looking at the Queen of Wands before. Because maybe this Queen of Wands, because let me tell you about this Queen of Wands at one point was the Queen of Swords, okay? I have a feeling that whoever this Knight of Wands is looking at this Queen of Wands, like she, he's really looking at someone that is an Empress, High Priestess energy, okay? But while she was in her Queen of Swords energy one day, she told this guy the truth. Because the Queen of Swords always does. The Queen of Swords is very knowledgeable, very smart, you know, um, <sighs> this
this is also somebody, he could have been married to this person. And this person turned like very sour because you see how like the backs, this energy, like, it, like the colors just kind of blend. Right. And then it's like something turns. You see the sun is here, which is the sun. The sun is like being shown on this situation. Okay. And it's like, I feel like this queen of wands has come into this person's life. Okay. And turn something around. It's like whatever this queen of wands exudes, this person, as much as they tried to resist it, cannot, can no longer deny it. I feel like whomever this knight of wands is has left this queen of, queen of swords. Yeah, the hermit. You may not have heard from this person in a while. But they're no longer walking with this queen of swords, okay? See? This person, if you hadn't heard, haven't heard from somebody in a while, I feel like you're going to hear from them very soon. And it was like, it was something that had, had to be done. Like this person had to go on like an inner journey. Like I told you, something happened here. Okay. And some, some truth got shown. It, this could have happened over, uh, the eclipse season. Okay. Since the beginning of the year and we just closed it out. All right. And then it's like, whenever it started. Sometime during that time, this person had some sort of aha moment. Which forced them into their own isolation. Okay. This person is, um, seeking the truth. Do you see? It's like they're walking towards the sun. They're walking away from a, a, some life that, that they, whatever life they used to know. Okay. And, and even if this is like you, it's like you're releasing this queen of swords energy within you of like where you were cold, where you were very guarded. Okay. And it's because you've done this, um, this work on yourself and you're going from the knight to the queen. Okay. And you went to the, the queen of swords energy and you're blossoming into this queen of wands energy. Okay. So I feel like this is happening individually with everyone, but then there's also this dynamic of some, like somebody coming towards you. Yeah. Two of pentacles. Look, Yeah, a ton of wands. But look, it, she looks like she's releasing. I feel like whatever was really, yeah, see, look, see, seven of swords. There was something like that has been, that maybe you've been in denial about, or someone's been in, yeah, look, justice, okay? Or just not wanting to reveal, okay? hiding it from themselves. Yeah. Look, see, 10 of swords showed itself to me. And then look underneath here is the king of cups. So it's like, this is serious growth here, but it happened from going within. Okay. And allowing for healing to come. Okay. This could be like what you're stepping into with this new moon is like the allowance of the unraveling of, of everything that you've ever been. Okay. So that you can emerge as this king of cups, this king of cups is longing. Look at this guy. This guy. I'm hearing that song. I'm just a woman in love. Uh, but that Barbara Streisand song. Yeah. There's definitely been an, an end of, I I'm hearing a cycle of abuse. Okay. So this could have been like the last 10 years of your life have just been very, very 
problematic, traumatic, just one thing after the other, okay? There could have been up to 10 people very close to you that have just, you had to release. If for some of you, it's all 17 of these things. These are like 17 people very close to you, just gone, okay? But this is, yeah, see, you're getting this fresh start though. This is what's coming with this new moon. It, this is this new beginning, okay? But this is like a step-by-step -step process into the emergence of your new true self, okay? The new you, but it's like the true you. Okay, they just told me to get another deck. Let me get it, let me get it. All right. Yeah, this is your justice. These, this is things being made, like coming into balance and being made right. I'm hearing stagnation is over. Live your soul, not your role. See, that that's what I mean. It's like you're letting go of... Remember that card of the burdens? It's like she's just releasing it. And this, this in this release is the allowance of your Queen of Wands energy to emerge, whether you're male or female. Yeah, do what you love. This is you truly stepping into your power as this healing continues, as this growth continues. Because we're, we're never going to be done with this, okay? At least that's my belief. It's like we're never going to achieve, like, perfection, you know? I know that I am made in, in God's likeness. This does not mean that I am God, but I do believe that I'm a goddess, because he created me in his, in his likeness. I believe all of us are. Do all things in moderation. Yeah, I'm hearing give and receive in balance. Seek hidden treasure. It's like the lesson beneath. Oh yeah. Yeah, wake up call. See, I told you somebody had some sort of wake up call. This could have came in with, with um, which began your journey, or this is something that's about to happen for you. Okay, it's going to turn you into somebody. It's going to take you from being the Knight of Swords to the Knight of Wands. Who it's like everybody loves the Knight of Wands. I mean, what's not to love about the Knight of Wands? Only the fact that he doesn't stay for long. You know, like he just he goes wherever his passion goes you know and but everybody loves to have him around you know and um so i feel like whatever this knight of swords energy that you may have had before or someone had before it's it's being released okay they're learning to although not completely ready to settle down okay this is why you got to do things all things in moderation okay it's like step by step piece by piece because there's a lot of passion here happening with not only within you but with ever with whomever you're connecting okay like but that person is on a spiritual path okay i feel like there's one person that's like been further along that is further along maybe this person is going to come to you for guidance okay if you're that person or vice versa okay you got to put yourself where you are right but it says let go and enjoy and i feel like this is about realizing how time doesn't exist okay first of all and that it's not a race and like like if time doesn't exist then age doesn't matter either okay so it's like, um, yeah, I want to be forever young. I'm hearing that song, Forever Young. That's funny. Okay, Be begin to explore, okay, and seek hidden treasure. Okay, they're reminding me again about, like, when I first turned on the camera. Okay, I, I before I was, like, meditating, all right? And then after I was meditating, I was reminded of the story of 
the um the dog and the hair the hair and the dog or whatever so like whatever i i um i was like the dog and the hair and the, so i looked it up to see what it was so i could like remember the story and um basically it's yes this like to, this is like bringing the whole freaking reading like full circle because um it's about how the hare, little rabbit, is getting chased by this this dog, like, all through, like, the forest. And the rabbit has, like, all these friends that, like, he's, like, always hung out with. But then it's, like, he's getting chased by the dog. And he's, like, hey, you know, can you help me? He passes one of his little animal friends. He's, like, hey, can you help me? And, and the animal, like, comes up with an excuse. Oh, oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. And then he's he's running for his life. And he sees another friend and another friend. And everybody, like, has an excuse as to why they can't help him escape this fucking dog okay and then um he ends up just like burying himself in a hole like and just like praying to god that he gets to fucking live right and the moral of the story is to um it's it's like it's better to have one true friend than to have many 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 friends who aren't true so and he learned that the hard way right because like when he really needed help nobody was there so um so i don't know i feel like this is uh, this is connected to why this person is coming to help okay or coming to ask for help all right or you're you may be asking someone this person's gonna say yes okay this person is gonna help you like that's that's why it's like what i say it's like we learn this stuff we go through this stuff we 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 go through our own trials and tribulations for the reason of being able to offer our hand out and help somebody else out of the hole right and it's like showing them the way so expect a phone call i just heard expect a phone call All right, so there you go, guys. I love you. I'm going to do another reading. I'm, I'm being moved to do a uh, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading, so I'm going to do that right, right now, and it'll be posted um, shortly after you see this one up on YouTube, okay? So I love you. Again, uh, the sale ends tonight. Thank you so much to everybody that bought um, a reading so far, and I've just been having so much fun. That's why I'm doing the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading because the the personals that I've done, you know, some of you guys are going through it. The 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 journey is um, tumultuous one for sure. And um, so anyway, I'm gonna do a reading. So look forward to that. And uh, if anybody's interested in a personal reading, the sale is still going on until 11:59 tonight. So use code word Mama. M-A-M-A -M -A, uh, on my website, lululisatrolovegrow.com. All right. Bye, guys.